Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models have practically built Stir themselves. <laughs> It's Mad Dog Merv and welcome to the Kid Hoarder Stash. Today we have a car. Had this one for a little while. This is one of those uh, Goodwill, you know, finding it at Goodwill, DI, whatever you want to call it. Um, <coughs> the 56 Chevy Bel Air. Now a lot of you guys I know have already built this, at least at some point in your life. I don't think I have ever built this in my life. I know I've built a 56 but I don't think it was this monogram kit. So let's uh, let's take a look at it. Okay, here's this side of the box. This is a 2009 release of this kit. So it's been out for a while. Still in the plastic. Wrapped for my freshness, I love it. Okay, first off, let's see what's in the rest of the box. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we have the uh, clear parts, headlights, and the uh, windshield. I'm not going to take it out of the plastic. We're going to leave it there. Um, the destructions. We've got a painting guide here. A little quick history on the 56 Chevy. Building the engine. Looks like you got two different engines, one with a blower and one with a dual four barrel system. One's got headers, the other one doesn't. Uh, building your suspension, which looks pretty simple, but uh, you know, it's it's a individual suspension, so I like that. Putting the engine in. Uh, interior detail, there's a lot of paint uh, goes into these interiors. Um, I've been around enough of these old 55, 56, 57 Chevys. That, yeah, they really did go all out as far as um, just the, the color schemes in them. I love them. I think they're great. Um, here's your interior assembly. And the rest of that. Look, you got a CB radio. <laughs> yeah, this kit must have come out in the 70s, I think. <laughs> That's pretty neat. I got a roll bar you can put in. Uh your stock or custom with your radiator and, and battery and all that kind of fun stuff. Your hood, you can have the option of putting on, it looks like two different hood scoops. That's kind of neat. And then putting your tires on, you got a choice of wheels. Um, getting your front grill on, your back bumper on, and decal placement, yay looks pretty simple so look at the decals um, yeah they're pretty simple nice flame job if you want to, if you want to do that <coughs> excuse me the tires on this are the good old generic uh, one size one size only 124 scale um, Ravel tires way too skinny for me but hey let's see here what do we got what do we got in the chrome okay chrome looks really good your Chevrolet valve covers, your uh, CB antenna. Oh, the hood ornament looks great. Bumper, uh, grill. This would be a good grill to uh, um, thin out in the back. 
and uh, you know open this up that'd be kind of neat but it's got nice turbine rims that yeah, looks looks good you know for the old for the old Ravel you know monogram kits that from back in the day um, like I say most of you guys have probably built this at least once probably in your teen years but when they say oldie but a goodie I like these kits because they go together quick and easy and they look good um, see not a lot of flash on this body the body looks great you got your Bel Air <coughs> inscription here on the side uh, your area where you can cut out in your hood there's the hood the interior pan and your exhaust your exhaust is molded in <laughs> Uh, you know, at least at least you don't have, uh, like I say, the suspension is is independent, which is good. So uh, here's that custom hood scoop. That's kind of neat. Roll bar, your wheel backs, uh, your front suspension, the back of the seat, your neat stock air cleaner. Uh, dual four barrel, your engine halves, your dashboard here, and of course the CB player or CB CB player the C the Citizen Band radio. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> My friend Breaker broke. <laughs> Twenty three would be very upset. Um, there's your uh, headers. They look good, and your front seat. Definitely has a pattern to it. You can't see it, but it definitely has a nice pattern to it. it looks like cloth. And then finally, your custom hood scoop and your bucket seats if you want to throw those in. So, or maybe that's all it gives you. I guess I didn't pay attention. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so you got the option of bench seat or bucket seat that's nice so and that's that's it really a simple kit but again for a lot of us you just want kind of a nostalgic build uh, that's that's that looks good that's uh, that's easy to build not overly complicated and here you go that's it so hey thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week on the stash